Um, today is August 25th, and I'll be going over the two-game LPL slate, uh, League of Legends LPL slate uh, that starts tomorrow. It happens over the span of two days. Um, I would like to share my screen and kind of go over um, what the playoff bracket looks like. So here, as you can see, um, the first game today, that's going to happen tomorrow morning, LNG versus EDG. Um, EDG is the favorite at minus 185, and LNG is the underdog at plus 145. So, you know, Vegas thinks that it's going to be a close matchup. I don't think so, and I'll explain why. Um, so, yeah, as you can see here on the bracket, um, you know, LNG has come from all the way from the start, beating Suning, Toppy, Sports, RNG. Um, and now um, they lost to FPX 3-0. Um, I think they ran into the juggernaut in FPX, um, but they're losing. Uh, they're playing in the lower bracket here against EDG today. Um, so the winner of this matchup, LN LNG versus EDG, the winner of that matchup will play in the next round of the lower bracket final which will be, at, be matched up against the loser of the next matchup on the slate, FPX versus Team WE. The winner of the Team WE versus FPX matchup will go straight to the finals. So it is important, you know, for these teams to win, especially between LNG and EDG, because the loser of that matchup tomorrow morning will go home and will not have a chance to win the summer split. Um, uh, one of those teams will have a chance to make it to the world's tournament, but we'll see what happens there. So yeah, so that's it's. I think it's a good. It's gonna be a good matchup. Um, obviously, LNG has been on fire um, until they ran into FPX, but EDG has also lost to Team WE in a very close one, uh, three to two. I do think Team WE was a better team in that matchup in the series. It was kind of. Um, a bummer because EDG didn't show up uh, at, at the beginning of the series because, I mean, really, they kind of came out flat um, because I think this was their first game in the playoffs. You know, they had so many days off because they were, you know, they finished in this in the second place um, in the regular season. So they had to wait all these teams to play their games out until they played EDG. So I think EDG kind of just needed, you know, the one one playoff series under their belt to get the get the ball rolling. So I do think that's going to help EDG uh, to play better, not you know, not as rusty. Um, hopefully, not you know, doesn't start off as rusty as they did against Team WE in the last matchup. I do think EDG uh, showed up well later in the series in the best of five series. So I like EDG's uh, chances in that regard. Um. Let's just go over the statistics that I usually look at, the metrics. Um, the combined kills per minute metric for this, these two teams are not as, as fast as the uh, FPX and WE in the second matchup. As you can see, they're quite, you know, quite slow, much slower um, compared to the FPX team WE matchup. Um, even just individually, LNG carries a 0.76 and then EDG carries 0.87. And then FPX carries 0.94, and then Team WE carries 0.88. So even there, I mean, you know, they've been playing faster um, uh, for Team uh, FPX and WE. So like I said, I mean, all, you know, long story short, I mean, statistics support that the first matchup between LNG and EDG will uh, have less of a kill upside. It's going to be a slower matchup. So just keep that in mind between, you know, when you're, you know, trying to choose optimal long stack versus short stack. Um, I would definitely probably get a short stack in an optimal lineup from this matchup and then get a long stack from either FPX or Team WE, but, you know, based on who you think will win that second matchup. And then jungle control percentage, um, which, you know, not only um, shows shows us who had who has the advantage out on the, on the map um, during the game, but it also tells us, you know, as you know, um, if you guys watch previous videos, it also tells us who's going to dictate the pace of the game. Um, but yeah, EDG is the favorite. Um, it has the advantage in jungle control. Um, I know Tarzan for LNG has been playing well um, in the playoffs. But, you know, JJ, <laughs> you know, he, he's a pretty good jungler, even though he got subbed out, you know, in the last series against Team WE 
for Junjia. I know the names are kind of similar for the EDG jungler, but JJ is starting. I posted the uh, I posted the uh, starting lineup um, in the Discord channel, um, but also also on my Twitter at DFS Chan. So if you you know want to see it, um, feel free. Um, but yeah, JJ is starting. But there is a substitute chance, um, substitute risk that um, JJ might get subbed out if, let's say, EDG loses their first game. So, you know, there is a bit of risk there. Um, but other than that position, jungle position, I'm, I'm not too concerned about substitution risk. All in all, I mean, based on my eye test, and then also I wanted to share this cool nugget that I found on Twitter about LNG, um, about, you know, my case that I think EDG is going to win. So this is one uh, Twitter handle that I followed, Rita. Um, you know, th this person, uh, you know, uh, provides a lot of updates from the LPL side, like the inside knowledge and everything. And they talk about how LNG has their home base in Suzhou um, and they don't have a training base in Shanghai. So Apparently they had to practice at the cyber cafe and, you know, they're not practicing like usual in their game gaming house and all that. So it looks like that that's going to kind of hurt LNG's chances. And obviously as part of a team um, competing in a you know tournament in person, um, I know in China they're still doing in-person tournaments, uh, games and everything. So uh, them having to travel and everything kind of equivalent to football, you know, playing away games and everything. I do think there's a bit of a, a, a home court advantage, um, so to speak, for EDG there. So all in all, based on my eye test and then given the metrics, I do like EDG um, to win. Um, I'm probably got, not going to have any LNG, unfortunately. I do think EDG is going to stomp here. I like them to win. Uh, I like them to win uh, three to one. Um, so yeah, so if you let me know if you guys have any questions on the first matchup. Um, but yeah, I'm going to move on to the second matchup. Uh, FPX versus Team WE. Like I said, this is the semifinals matchup. Um, whoever wins this will go to the finals. But like I already talked about the combined kills per minute, so I'll skip on that. Um, it is going to be a faster matchup, so I would definitely get a long stack from either FPX or Team WE based on who you think will win. Um, so that in itself will make a good reason for GPP uh, play by playing both teams um, and getting long stacks from both teams, using both teams. I don't think a game stack was, is viable, just you know, in a best of five setting like this. I know somebody asked me that the other day, but I just, I just having a hard, I'm just having a hard time that, you know, that it's going to be that much different like the, basically the second matchup this matchup will have to go like 25 to 20 in all five matchups for it to work over let's say if edg wins three to one like a predicted and then they average like 15 kills still gonna still not gonna be enough for um a, a game stack to win there so i wouldn't i would not recommend the game stack today i know on a two games two game slate like this it is um has to be considered but after consideration, I'm not, you know, I'm not playing any game stack today. But I will be playing both teams, uh, FPX and Team WE, in, uh, you know, a lot of my lineups um, separately as a long stack along with EDG. Um, so, yeah, but I do think just based on the eye test and FPX, um, you know, has do they dominated LNG. They looked really good, even though that was their first game. Um, in the playoffs, I guess they had a lot of time to prepare against LNG, but still, I mean, playing against Team WE, it's not going to be, it, it, there's not going to be much preparation needed, in my opinion, because Team WE is not the type of team like LNG where they focus, you know, they do a lot of good good things around objectives and macro game is good. I think Team WE uh, likes, likes to skirmish a lot. I mean, they're really good at team fights. That's how they win, and that's frankly, they're, they're probably one of very few win conditions, I think. But FPX, in, in my opinion, they are also a very good team fighting team. So I just feel like that is that win condition, you know, is neutralized when it comes down to that. And uh, Team WE will have to either get an early lead and snowball against FPX to, you know, to win that series. But I just cannot, I, I'm just having a hard time imagining that happen over the span of three games. They'll have to win three games. So 
But either way, like I said, I mean, for ownership purposes, ownership leverage, I mean, Team WE is the biggest underdog on the, you know, on a, on a two game slate like this. So I think the ownership will be the lowest on Team, the team WE. But I mean, the kill upside is there too. I mean, if Team WE pulls off an upset, they're more likely than LNG as another underdog. I mean, Team WE will probably outscore LNG, even if, you know, uh, both underdogs end up winning somehow. So I, I like um, FPX here to win 3-2. to two. I think it's going to be a close matchup. I do think Team WE individually has a, has a talent to be able to compete against FPX players. I know Doyen B and um, I know Doyen B has been lights out, but Nuguri in the top lane has been kind of shaky. Um, and Breathe for Team WE in the top lane has been lights out. And I think he made one of the all LPL pro teams, you know, after, uh, following the summer split regular season. Um, but and Beishang may be as good as um, Tian for FPX, the jungling position. Um, I, in some, I mean, in the playoffs, Beishang has been lights out as well. So. It's not like Team WE is a joke. I do think the odds are um, too skewed in FPX's favor. I, I do think it has to be. It should be more around minus 200 for FPX. So yeah, if you are a better out there, I would you know smash on Team WE. I think that's you know too good of odds to pass up. I think, but if, for DFS purposes, I definitely like FPX to still win, but. I think Team WE makes a very good GPP play for all of those reasons that I mentioned. So anyway, and then the jungle control percentage that I look at, it also shows that FPX um, has not been as good um, in jungle compared to uh, the regular season. Um, you know, the more recent recent games that they played in FPX has not been as dominant in the, in the jungling position. So for what it's worth, I think, um, Team WE makes a good GPP play, but in an optimal setting, I I still favor FPX. FPX and EDG is probably going to be my, you know, boring <laughs> cash stacks. But like I said, uh, you know, I think the jungling stack, like with um, Tian jungle or Tian captain, and then JJ in the jungling position, um, is probably going to be the chalky cash lineup. But just make sure to keep in mind that JJ, you know, the jungler for EDG has substitution risk. So keep that in mind. So, you know, you might go to the top lane sta top laner stack, like with Nuguri and then Flandre, but you do lose on a lot, quite a bit of points there uh, by going top stacks. So, you know, I think that's the risk. Um, you have a substitution risk um, by stacking the junglers for EDG and FPX. And then you have a potential opportunity cost, you know, loss there. Uh, if you are st stacking the top laners for EDG and FPX, you know, Nuguri and Flandre. So, you know, for what it's worth, um, you have to make a decision and take a stance. Um, if you think EDG will dominate, like I think, I mean, JJ will not get subbed. But if you think that's going to be a closer matchup and LNG has to, you know, LNG can win game one and then JJ might get subbed out. So. You know, I think that's the risk, risk that you'll have to uh, just do a cost benefit analysis on um, and then decide from there. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to uh, chime in um, on any questions you may have. And then, yeah, like I said, FPX and Team WE placed uh, on Friday. So keep that in mind um, when you are playing these matchups. Good luck, everybody. Thanks. Bye bye.